Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to look at frequency response curves. I know a lot of you measure your rooms and send them in to me, so I picked one that's very typical. And you can see it on the screen. And it's the energy below 100 cycles, because that's what we focus on. That's why we call all energy below 100 cycles low frequency. Okay. Also, it's the hardest to treat. Anything above 100, we can treat pretty easily. But anything below requires special treatment, as you all know. Okay. There's many products in the marketplace that claim to be effective down below 100 cycles. Most are not. Most are boxes filled with building insulation. We're going to illustrate that in upcoming videos. But we want to address this peak below 100 cycles that you see in the graphic. Okay. Now, how do we do that? We have two treatment options, our ACDA10 and ACDA12. The 10 is more broadband, starts at 30, goes to 300 with the carbon inside of it, and then we add our foam on the face behind the fabric, which pushes the absorption up to 6,300. The ACDA12 is our most powerful product. There's nothing in the marketplace, and I repeat, nothing, no matter what manufacturers tell you, that gets the absorption coefficients that we get from 30 to 50. And then we put our foam on the face, which drives it up to 6,300. 6, so you get a nice broadband absorption in both from 30 to 6,300. But the 12 really goes after this 40 and 30 cycle energy and 50 cycle energy. Now, how does it do that? Well, Let's say this peak here is plus 12, okay? So we put one unit in the room at 1.5 dB attenuation for every square foot. This means square footage. Then we take 1.5 dB off this 12 dB peak. Now, is that enough? Well, lowering from 12 to what? That would be 10.5 peak? No. Can't have a 10.5 dB peak in our room. That's craziness. And we can't EQ that. If you ever tried EQ in a 10.5 dB peak, sounds stupid. That's the word for it. Just say stupid because you'll hear it immediately in, in, the, in your mix. Processors are not designed to work in these maximum ranges. They're designed to work more smaller ranges. So then you don't hear them because they all have digital artifacts. So your goal is to reduce the problems in the room in the analog domain as much as you can with the right tools. So we got 1.5 dB with one unit. We put another unit in. We get another 1.5 dB. And you can see, as we keep adding units, we can get this thing managed. That's why I always tell people that in most rooms, it's going to take you between 8 and 12 units. Because most rooms have this 12, 13, 14, 15 dB peak. At 1.5 dB penetration into that peak, you can just add up the number of units that you're going to need for it. Now, that is going to get the peak down to a manageable level here, close to baseline. And then you can use your processing. You can use your EQ. So that's the goal. So we're still in the analog domain treating the problems in the room, right size, right pressure levels used in the room, right height, length, and width. And then we polish up what we can't treat or we can't have room to treat, which is the big issue in small rooms. We've got big problems and we've got no space. And we, we know that low frequency energy takes eight to 16 inches of product depth to solve. So it's this balancing act. Do we have enough space to treat our problems? Because we really do have the problem. And how much of a treatment impact can we have? Can we get it down to plus two, plus three, where our processor can work without sounding crazy? So that's the whole goal between treatment. This is a typical frequency response curve I see in almost every small room. And it has to be managed. And I started out living and breathing these curves, and I never could find products that would satisfy that. They all claim to, but never did. Well, ours do. You're not happy with the performance? We'll be happy to take the product back and give your money back. But let me tell you about that. 
13 years in business, we've never had a product returned. Most people that buy once, buy again. 63% of our first time buyers buy again, 43% of that 63 buy the third time. So we have quality products that have the horsepower to treat the low end. So, and we'll guarantee the performance. Someday, I hope to be able to increase this to two, maybe two and a half dB per 12 square feet. That would require me going back into the lab and, and doing a lot of testing, but I have some ideas I think that would do that. So, uh, and then the goal would be not to increase the weight of the product. So, hope this helps. We all got these big peaks below 100. Make sure you use the right tool. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.